as always, thank the uh, best fans in the land. Uh, great turnout and provided us a lot of energy on a, a noon kickoff. And, and I thought our guys responded well against a team that was swinging as hard as they can. Like some credit to uh, Maryland. I know there's a lot of stuff out there, and uh, you know I just I just I can't stand hearing that stuff. I just like you know respect coaches, respect players, and and I uh, know one thing they played their hearts out. So uh, uh, it was a good win. Matter of fact, it was a great win, and we're going to enjoy that one and get back to uh, work uh, next week. I know the questions about the quarterback's going to come up, and. Um, you know, JT is just a very good player. You know, we've been having some red zone issue, issues and, uh, the, you know, the Q run, everything condenses so much in there. And either you have to be extremely accurate, which we're going to continue to work at that at the throwing game or the run game. You just have to somehow find an extra hat. And that's only done a couple ways. And it's option football or Q run to equate numbers. And, and uh, he provided an obvious spark for us in there. And plus, he's a, he's a leader and a guy that uh, needs to be on the field. So I'll answer any questions for you. We'll go to the right here, Clay. Did all those hours at the grease board pay off? Um, did you get the? Did you break the rock today? Was there a breakthrough? I think there was. You know, I, a lot of guys were involved offensively. You know, you throw the ball. I think for 300 yards, you, you get uh, some guys involved. You're balanced. You know, you'd wish we could get Zeke out loose a couple times, and we, we weren't able to do that. But he ran hard, and give Maryland credit, they're playing their tails off and kind of negating that and then allowing us to throw the ball a little bit. <clears throat> Left, Bob. Quarterback situation, or is it sure until next week. <laughs> I mean, are you are you happy with the way that well, I'm worked? I'm very and happy with it. I, you know, I just uh, I'm into I'm into good kids. I'm into good people that are committed to our program. To see a smile on those guys' face and to see that they uh, worked hard and it's a unique situation. And uh, we're going to actually bring them both up here, let them talk to you because it is unique. And the attention to this thing is, I mean, I'm exhausted from it. So I can imagine, and I don't pay attention. I don't read my phone very often. So I can imagine what those two young guys, and, and they, they've stayed pretty focused. And they got a support group that's really, really strong, and that's down in that locker room. Front row right, Tim? Yeah, Urban, a couple of quickies. Number one, did the Perry Hills kid, number 11, catch y'all's defense a little bit unawares? Yeah. I mean, just what's your take well, on that? Well, they were starting to read some down linemen. They haven't really showed much of that. The Q, uh, you know, was true spread offense stuff they were doing that really they were more of a throw team. And I thought we adapted well, you know, uh, I mean, I should say, well, after a couple of them, we, we slowed it down and got them in some long yardage situations. That last score is not on our defense. I, I'm so angry at that thing that that happened. Our defense, defense is done. Stay on the bench and just grind it out. And we snapped the darn thing like a high school team over his guy's head. That shouldn't have happened. So I'm not putting that on defense at all. And, and you know, a guy, uh, guy comes out and athletic quarterbacks or something that's hurt us two weeks in a row. So hey, Jalen uh, kind of made up a little bit for last week a little bit. What, what was your Jaylen take on Jalen Marshall. Marshall's play? Oh, yeah. yeah. Made up for last. Oh, because of turnovers? Yeah. Yeah, Jalen's going to play hard. Uh, we just uh, strong emphasis on turnovers and execution. And, and uh, you know, we had four. The only issue, really only issue I saw was the uh, not discounting that last high school drive, but the, uh, um, the four issues by the offense line in the first half. You know, a couple penalties and four penalties. And that's, uh, we, we'll get that fixed. So, uh, you know, our, our line's too good. Left side, Bill. You're up 21-7 and driving. It looks like you have the game under control. Then they end up tying it. What are you thinking when it's 21-21 and you got yourself the game? I just, it's come to, I'm thinking we just got to uh, keep executing and get going. You get up by two scores, I'm, you know, a little upset. And, but, um, I mean, it was just what's our next drive? What's our plan well, once we start moving the ball? And, and uh, I have enough confidence these guys are going to, we're going to get everybody's best shot and we're going to continue to play and swing and swing and swing. And that's what we did. And over to the right, uh, Dom. Urban, I want to say you guys were six for six in the red zone and no turnovers. Can you address both? I'm sorry? Six for six in the red zone, you guys were in no turnovers today. I know. I heard you first time. I just wanted you to say it again. <laughs> uh, six for six, no turnovers. Uh, worked very hard with a bunch of good, good guys that uh, uh, listened very well and executed very good down there. Uh, on the left there, Doug. Urban, when you talked about the quarterbacks before the season, you kind of thought they had <clears> similar <throat> skill sets. What sort of led you down the path to the point where JT Barrett was sort of that situational guy today? Well, it was, it was a little old school when, uh, you know, I kind of watched Tom Herman's, you know, what he did. I watched uh, uh, what's Houston play the other night, and that tempo and the, 
you know, the tempo without a Q threat. And, and Cardell can. That's not his niche. But we kind of had him going there for a little bit with the tempo going as fast as we can. And we have a nice little set of plays that are built kind of for the Braxton and then you know, um, um, JT. And now JT obviously can throw, the, throw it well too. So, so I'm, we're going to keep tinkering with that thing. And if JT is the right guy in the red zone in that situation, why isn't JT the right guy all the time? We just won, man. I'm going to go enjoy a <laughs> nice Gatorade tonight. And uh, that's a good question. And JT, is uh, they're both very good quarterbacks. Both played well. And I'm going to hug them both and say, great job. Well done. And let's go to work tomorrow and find a way to get a little better. And final questions over to the right, Steve. Yeah, Coach, I want to add on Cardale. I mean, it's not like he's been completely marginalized. He threw for almost 300 yards in the game. There's so you tell afterwards, Doug, you guys go yeah, have your little journalism. But, but your thought on him, just uh, do, you, do you think he responded to this situation? Cardell? Yeah. Yeah, I think he was great. I thought he played probably his best game uh, since last year. Uh, was very efficient. I don't have the stat. Very efficient. Two for 290 and some change. I uh, thought him and Mike Thomas, you know, did a very nice job. He had a couple deep balls right on target of Braxton, Jalen, and uh, two Braxtons, if I remember right. And um, it was great to get Braxton and Miller involved. So I think he had his 10, his 10 touches. So. And last question, Ari. I was just going to ask about Braxton, uh, 10 touches, a few touchdowns. It's been about a month since he's really taken off a little bit. What was it like just to see him going? And oh, once again, I'm so into good dudes, good guys that uh, care about their program, care about the university, and to see his face. And I hope you guys get to see him because he had a nice smile on his face. And, uh, and that's, you know, it, it's not easy. There's a lot of work, you know, we talk about those 50 year old men sitting in front of grease boards and, and uh, you got some guys that deserve to touch the ball and we're doing our best we can.